Lavis Goldmark procured his meager pay working for an oddball scientist by day. A simpleton such as he found no infraction participating in this grisly eyeball extraction. And the reason being, it's anybody's guess, but Lavis was quite accustomed to the mess. In fact, he was plagued with a wicked appetite, and with heedless abandon, he took his first bite. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> his future dim, his fate now sealed, Lavas's true nature was soon to be revealed. Shameless indeed of his unconscionable sin, Lavas unleashed the monster within. <laughs> the transformation was now complete. Why, what's that old adage? You are what you eat. And so it was when the nightmare began, he was much more the freak and much less a man. <laughs> His unwary soul had stumbled into his grasp. His first encounter with Lavis would be his last. While Lavis became frenzied with his ill-gotten prize, for his gluttony had increased to disproportionate size. He skulked around the neighborhood. Lavas was up to something no good. The daily news proclaimed the horrors of this beast, but Lavas didn't mind it, not in the least. The most on his mind was an itch he could scratch, as Lavas prepared to make his next attack. <laughs> Is it improbable to think that this creature feels remorse? And what events have led to this dark and wicked course? For Lavas's hunger was never quite sated. He retreated to his tiny abode, and he waited. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
novice enticed an unsavory gent with a bottle of wine and an offer of free rent. The little exchange began quite pleasant. But Larvis made quick work of this unsuspecting peasant. receiving increasing reports of a homeless man that has been viciously poking people's eyeballs out. Citizens are urged to immediately report any sightings of this man, monster, slash, giant eyeball head to the proper authorities. And now back to the hip sounds of today's modern talent. <laughs> By night and by day he roamed the countryside, and showing no mercy, no attempt to hide, his victim's screams sounded out unheeded, while Lava simply took what he needed. Could Lavis be happy with his house by the creek? While he contemplated horrors too evil to speak, and whiled away the hours with his garden of pain that lacked the blessing of a good summer's rain. So Lavis cleverly put the growing in motion with a splash and a dash of a self-made potion. Like an infectious rash, the vile news spread around and seeked its way to the darkest corners of town, and prompted a messenger dispatched with the letter, while Lavis's luck was getting better and better. Welcome to Dick's Wieners. Get your dick wienered here. How can I help you? There. 
Ne. Oh, 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 oh,